Yes, good day ladies and gents. Yep, this is Zand Sportsman once again. Upper Elephant Castle. Yes, earlier this week I had a Champion of the world. Uh, Black medal champion of the world. Wayne the Great Alexander um, went through with um yeah the post-fight reactions between Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury too. But as I never got a chance to um, uh, disclose. Um, the big fight coming up. Yep. Yeah, but I did, I did mention it when I um, did the review with Wayne Alexander. But um, the big fight coming up, yes, I'll go back to the subject. Yep, yeah, Daniel DeWall versus De Joe Joyce. It is official. Yep, yeah, Frank Warren, um, the promoter of Daniel DeWall, announced it on Good Morning Britain recently. And um, yeah, Joe Joyce's um, manager promoter so there as well. Um, I forgot his name, but um, a bit of a um, yeah, yeah colourful character he is. But however, yeah, it's gonna be a massive fight. Yeah. Um, whoever wins this, yeah, definitely is gonna be a shot. IBO, IBF, WBO, and um, WBA um, World Championship belts. Yeah, whoever wins this is definitely going to shot at the title either next year or the year after. Uh, I can guarantee that. Yeah, but whoever wins this fight, uh, if it's Dubois that wins the fight, he's going to go on and go on to bigger things. Um, he's only 22 years old, so he's got a big future ahead of him. And um, if it's for Joe Joyce, he's gonna um, open up new pathways to his career. Um, yeah, he's 34 years, yeah, yeah, years old. So um, yeah, he, he, he needs to make this money and move up the ladder as quick as possible. But for him, so, um, if Joe Joyce loses. According to um, my good mate Wayne Alexander, he did have a good opportunity. It will be a setback for him, but I don't think it will be the end of the month for him. Uh, yeah, he can um, recover because he's still very young. But however, big fight for the British Heavyweight Championship. He's going to be loud in the sports, so I'm looking forward to that one, man. I can't wait, man. He's going to be at the Winter Arena. So, um, yeah, that's my announcement for today uh, with the boxing. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more um, boxing previews and reviews um, later on and um, throughout the week if possible and throughout the whole of the spring and summer because there's going to be some big massive fights coming up. Um, as Wayne Alexander mentioned as well, uh, we're expecting, um, I think it's... Um, What's his name? Yes, um, Canelo, Canelo, yeah, the guy who beat um, Kovalev. I didn't even get a chance to do a review about that, but I'll try and do um, an update of, of that fight at uh, some other point. Yep, Canelo versus um, Billy Joe Saunders. That should be the next fight coming up in the horizon. Yeah, man, that should be a very good fight. I think that's um, a super middleweight, if I'm correct here, because um, yeah, recently Canelo did um, step up to fight Kovalev and he knocked him out in emphatic style as well, knocked him out clean in the 11th round so well done to Can Canelo um, in that fight but uh, Billy Joe Saunders is a very schoolful fighter, anything can happen, um, a lot of people will say Canelo is the favourite but anything can happen, um, if Billy Joe wins it I wouldn't be so surprised because he's a very schoolful fighter but 
in, in my uh, opinion, Canelo is the, the, the um, harder hit and slightly more aggressive. But listen, he's boxing, man. He's, he's world class boxing. Anything can happen. It, it is the elite level of boxing. It just takes one punch to, to end the fight. Anything is possible. Despite Canelo being the favourite, in my opinion. IBO title, the super middleweight RBO title. And um, since then, Chris Uban Jr. has moved back down to middleweight. So um, I don't know where his career is going, but James DeGale did the best he can. He finished he lived his dreams. We have ex um, ABA um, amateur champion, ex Olympic gold medalist, ex British Commonwealth European and IBO world champion. The record says for itself, so he's, he's from the best and he's competing with the best and he's beating the best. So, um, yeah, I mean, um, retirement to Jim to go on his one year of, uh, anniversary of um, retiring. As, as a big fan of James to go, I admired his um, work in boxing. Oh, yeah, and uh, how can I forget, man? His, um, yeah, scrap with George Groves, amateur rivals. Yeah, they came from the, um, Dale Boxing Gym in um, West London, yep. Um, George Groves, yeah, what a warrior he was too. Very good world champion as well. Former WBA champion, but um, James DeGale's um, rivalry with um, George Groves. Oh man, that was a fool I remember that. Um, I think it was on Box Nation, if I'm correct. He was on Box Nation, yeah. Uh, yeah, they were fighting for the British title, but this was earlier on in, in the careers. It, um, it's such a shame. Yeah, but we never got to see a rematch. Yeah, uh, the girl versus Groves too. That would have been so good, but it wasn't to be, man. But two, two good fighters. Um, yeah, two great world champions. Yep. Yeah, one was unfortunate against some um, Chris Eubank Jr. And one beat Chris Eubank Jr. Jr. That is, yeah, George Groves himself. Yep. Yeah, so, anyways, that's all I need to say for now. Yeah with the boxing I'm gonna wrap it up thanks for listening thanks for watching I hope you were entertained once again ladies and gentlemen this is Zan the Sportsman signing up